These are the 25 features about Java 567. Fine, tell me the current discussion in Java 8 new features, these are all the old features. Now let us move to the really waiting feature Java 8 features. What are the different features are added in Java 8 version? Java 8 new features, very interesting. Now before writing Java 8 features, I want to give you clue like how I remember you remembering the main headings. Okay. Similarly, Java 8 features, a target is what if you know, remembering features are easy. Every version has a target, every version has a focus, every version has an objective. Na? Java 5 features, first start with Java 5 features, what I told, syntax level, write less code. Whatever the repeated code we are writing in every project, let us make it what? Simple. In single line, we have to write that is the target of Sun Microsystem. This target is at okay, object orientation programming. And nowadays, there are so many languages are come up with an idea about functional programming. Java is an object oriented programming language. So, other languages are there like Scala, very popular language from functional programming like Python. So, some other languages are there which are supporting functional programming. Then Sun Microsystem got a question, of course, Java 8 means Oracle Corporation. So, Oracle Corporation got a question, why do not we support functional programming in Java also? So, that is the point where trigger is coming with Java 8 new features, that is what? Functional programming support. Oracle Corporation has taken four decisions, four objectives they have taken to introduce Java 8 new features. The four are number one interface has one limitation. Okay. Whenever you are developing interface based programming while writing subclass from interface, we have one limitation. All methods, all abstract methods available in interface, you must implement in subclass. Otherwise, compiler software will throw error. That is one limitation. To solve that limitation, Java 8, they are given some focus on that problem. Then next, functional programming they want to introduce to Java. Second objective is functional programming. Third objective is performing bulk or reading operations, bulk reading operation on collection object with some filtering, mapping, parallel processing. Now, if you want to read data from the collection object, you have to use a for loop, while for loop or iterator you have to use, lot of if conditions you only has to write, is it my expected object or not. So, that code they want to reduce further, they have given something called stream API and date and time API okay, and JavaScript engine. So, the main target is totally 6 objectives are the Java 8 feature enhancement. So, the 6 objectives are number 1 interface limitation problem solution, number 2 functional programming introduction to Java language, number 3 stream API, okay, number 4 new date and time API, number 5 multi core processor support. Okay. And next but not least security, more security level problems are solved. So, totally 6 concepts their target. Okay. Based on these 6 concepts, now we have the features, let us try to write. Around 15 points, 15 features are coming, let me write out. Okay. First one, concentration is on what sir? Interface problem solving. Interface problems to solve, we got something called default method, default method in interface. Okay. This default method is creating one problem to solve that problem, they have given one more called what? Static method in interface, static method in interface, okay. Interface problem to solve, two concepts came, default method, default method creating one problem to solve, we, have, we got what? Static method, default method and static method in interface, that is the first feature about Java 8. Then next. Next target is what? Functional programming. So, to support functional programming, we got three concepts. Number one, a new style of interface concept came, functional interface. To force programmer to create only functional interface, a interface as a functional interface, we got one new annotation here at the rate functional, no space I capital letter interface. It is a annotation name, class name at the rate functional interface. Third one is a concept and fourth one is at the rate functional interface annotation. 
and fifth concept is language level change lambda expression lambda expression okay it's just a concept it's not a class name space you can give lambda expression of course it's having a symbol lambda lambda symbol okay you have mathematics calculus it is a part of mathematics calculus concept and next sixth concept is come method reference method and of course constructor method and constructor reference so this method and constructor reference will come up with a concept called what scope resolution operator whatever you call it. actually is not an operator in java okay so generally in c++ we call it as scope resolution operator but in java it's not a scope resolution operator separate different right so now tell me these six concepts are belongs to what a lambda expression functional programming concepts then following by we got now what next first target is interface second target is what functional programming third target is nothing but stream api I told you na stream api nothing but bulk operation performing on uh, collection object for that purpose bulk operations from what point of view retrieving objects from the collection point of view for that we have uh, something called for each method for each method and special iterator spi iterator special iterator methods added in iterable interface okay for each method spl iterator methods are added in iterable interface you remember in java 5 version we got enhanced for loop for each loop this for each loop extension in iterable interface they are given what for each loop and special iterator these two are bulk operations to perform those are not still not sufficient okay we need some more api called stream api so this stream api api means what classes where they have given in a special package called java dot util dot stream come on it is a sub package of util package we got stream api under the package called java dot util package because this stream api is meant for what uh, retrieving objects from the collection so this api is a somewhat related to collection that's why they given stream package as sub package of util package so using stream api what operation we can do filtering operation mapping operation parallel processing operation while retrieving objects from the collection let me give a simple idea here what is the meaning of filtering you know i have a collection collection object can be heterogeneous it can store a different type of objects like what integer object string object double object student object employee object so many objects my requirement is from this collection i want to retrieve only integer objects i don't want remaining objects then if it if stream api is not there how you have to write the code uh, now first you have to retrieve object either using iterator or by using for each loop then store in object variable object obj equal to then you have to write if condition Do you remember to check the object type instance of operator condition we should write if obj instance of what object integer then do work otherwise don't do work this if condition i should write you should write everyone should write what is the target of sun microsystem reduce number of lines of the code development so sun microsystem has introduced an api called what stream api you just tell me what type of objects you want to retrieve from the collection that objects only retrieved and returned to you that is what stream api is telling that is nothing but filtering okay more details we are going to see as part of programming in next coming videos no need to much worry just i am giving overview idea then next to the stream api we got one more api one more package under util package for supporting more functional programming so these are the language level changes now here onwards i am talking about what api level changes at api level to support functional programming we got one more package called functional api this functional api is given in a package come on which package can you guess java dot again util package this is also belongs to some word uh, okay util operation java dot util dot function so now java dot util dot function right under this package there are three important classes number one predicate number two consumer and number three supplier so these three classes are important classes they are playing important role while working with lambda expression and stream api right so now these are the concepts okay i told you java 8 new features objective is what first interface problem solving next functional functional programming introduction and uh, next word uh, bulk operation to perform on a, a collection api while reading the objects from the collection object now i am entering into the next object to that is they have given new date and time api 
the existing date and time API is available under java.util package date class simple time format class ok there are several date and time classes are there but those classes are not thread safe classes and so many other issues are there to solve those problems ok they have given uh, a new API called date and time API so this date and time API is developed in combination with oracle corporation and there is a special company called joda.org so joda.org already providing the effective date and time api in in association with joda.org website and that other they are trying to work with oracle corporation both together working so some people are calling it as what joda api also they are calling right for uh, no problem uh, now next uh, 11th point is what next object of sun microsystem in java 8 version is what uh, they wanted to support multi core processor operations multi core processor api they want to support for that they have given something called base 64 api something they have given base 64 support they have given and also they have given what security level so many security level api is also they have supported security level enhancement they are done okay right so these are the main features now next important one is java 5 version they have given annotations concept ok they given annotations concept this annotation concept they have enhanced and they given annotations concept is enhanced ok by adding two important type annotations they are repeated annotation and the second one is type annotation repeated annotation and type annotation two diff two types of annotations they given and of course pluggable annotation also they given three important annotation they given pluggable also so repeated annotation type annotation and pluggable annotation okay and next after the annotation very very important improvement they have given a collection hash map okay improvement added improvement done in hash map in where key collision in a key collision by introducing binary tree object previously whenever two objects we are adding with same key nothing but same hash code if two objects you added both are stored in a single bucket that single bucket bucket concept is implemented by using linked list if more objects are stored in the same bucket in linked list searching it will take time linked list will search object in uh, sequential order right that is reduce their performance to solve that problem sun has introduced a concept called what binary tree concept in uh, what you call hash map so if number of objects are adding with the same hash code that is called hash collision key hash collision then immediately they are replacing linked hash dot object to tree set object nothing but a binary tree object they are implemented ok so these are the 14 points and 15th point that is they have removed uh, what you call jdbc odbc bridge driver jdbc odbc type 1 bridge driver is removed from java 8 version so in jdbc we have four types of drivers you know right type 1 driver is jdbc odbc bridge driver that is remote that api is remote so from java 1.8 onwards you cannot use the statement class dot for name of sun dot jdbc dot odbc dot driver dot jdbc odbc driver that line you can you will get a class not found exception ok so from java 1.8 onwards if jdbc applications you want to test and develop only type 4 driver or type 3 driver or type 2 driver only you can use you cannot use type 1 driver 16th feature of java 8 is and another object to of sun microsystem that is adding javascript support in java language nash on javascript engine okay so these are the java 8 enhancements main main enhancements i am talking here and sub enhancements also there so many other concepts are there where i am not addressing all so in your project in your interview room what you have to talk what you have to main major topics you have to talk i have addressed okay now repeat once again what is the java 8 new feature target first one is what interface 
okay interface limitation second one is what functional programming introduction to java language and next one is what uh, performing bulk operation in collection api while while retrieving objects from collection object and the next one of course it is also again functional programming related api and the next objective is what date and time api and multi core processor supporting security level issues and annotations and other issues okay so this is the basically how you are to remember okay i hope you understand uh, all these 40 features if you remember even interview ask question can you tell me some of the features uh, added in java 5 some of the features added in java 6 java 7 java 8 if you able to tell all these 40 features slowly neatly uh, interview feel so happy and he will give you job very easily okay give a chance to the interviewer to give you job here okay how you have to you have to put more efforts you have to remember all these concepts right uh, next you may ask me question okay sir all 40 features you listed here are you going to release videos on all 40 concepts yes promise definitely i will release okay with very neat and clean examples real time projects how we are using in the real time projects with real time code examples notes part everything each and every video i am going to repeat each and every on each and every concept i am going to release the video one by one okay one session one concept we will discuss so happily you can practice in your system also but immediate effect i will start java 8 new features videos after completed java 8 new features i will also continue with remaining features because as of now it's important for you you have to talk java 8 new features in the interim as a fresher or experienced that's why my concentration first on java 8 new features is this clear so in this session we discuss what is the main objectives of sun microsystem while giving all these uh, different version features and what are the features listed so i hope you enjoy this session remember all the points try to uh, produce all these points in your interview all right thank you for watching this session see you in the next session mm -hmm.